One of the issues in Medicine Lake is that 60% of the sewer is in the backyards between the houses and the lake because that's the lowest spot. And so to try to get a boiler truck or a big water truck in the backyard for water cure would be very damaging to the yards. And so we talked to the city council about using UV cure because the light train can be transported by one or two guys over their shoulders. You don't have to get big equipment down there. This is the first UV curing project for sanitary sewer in Minnesota. The contractor initially pulls the liner through the pipe from manhole to manhole. They then install a packer or pig at one end and gently open the liner by blowing into it. At the other end, the light train is installed and a second packer is put in place so they can fully inflate the liner tight to the pipe walls. The light train then moves upstream and inspects the condition of the liner using the television camera at the front of the light train. Once they have verified the liner is installed correctly, it will reverse direction and start the curing process. The light train travels at about five feet per minute to cure the liner. UV curing use ultraviolet light to cure the, the liner as opposed to hot water or steam. The life expectancy of this type of liner is exactly the same as steam or hot water. It's 50 plus years is what the industry uses as their lifespan. You're basically creating a new pipe within a pipe.